a man will never love a woman that will always argue with him. Hello friends, I want to invite you to be part of our Telegram page. In this Telegram page, we from time to time mentor ourselves, discuss deep things about the scriptures and we explain it more in details. I want to invite you to join us. Just send me a WhatsApp message on this line and I will get across to you. Now today, I want to share with you something you need to know about your marital life. This is more important for those who have married. Most often, there is a way a woman wants a man to love her and there is a way a man wants a woman to love him. We must understand how a man must be loved and how a woman must be loved for you to enjoy your marriage. Let me share these two key with you that will help you to enjoy your marriage. One, for you to love your man the way you want to be loved. One thing is major in a man's psyche. That is the aspect of respect. What a man needs in relationship is respect. If there's a man you cannot respect, that is a man you cannot love. And also to a man, a woman does not necessarily need too much of money. I'm not saying that a woman does not need money. What I'm saying is what motivates a woman in love is not necessarily too much money. What a woman is looking for in love or in relationship is simply care. You say, but that takes money. No. Care does not necessarily mean throwing out money to a woman. It shows that you are attentive, you are willing to listen to her, and you are willing to create time for her. I know this might be difficult for men, especially some of us that want to go up and down to make ends meet. But it's very important for us to know that for you to love a woman the way she wants to be loved, that woman wants attention. She needs care. She's looking for somebody that can reason or can speak or can talk with her. So a woman, simply put, wants fellowship. And little minute things matter to a woman. Don't think until you have a larger, uh, don't think of a bigger picture. A woman wants it bit by bit. For example, a man will be thinking of a day he will have money to buy a woman a car so that I can show my wife that I really love her. She will appreciate your car, but before then, a woman wants a man that can buy her ice cream on your way from office. A, a man that can do little, little things for her to support her, to show that I really love. At times, a woman might be too engrossed with our score. She needs somebody that can help her in one little way or the other. Don't let ego be an object here to distract us from loving our wife the way they want to be loved. Uh, helping your wife in the kitchen, in the house call, is not a bad idea. It's a way of showing to that woman that I care for you. In the same vein, a man will never love a woman that will always argue with him. Learn to listen. Even if you are not in agreement with your husband, learn to just listen. When the opportunity comes, you can address that matter with him. A man feels like a man when a woman is willing to adapt to that man. That is why the book of Ephesians chapter 5 says, You wife, submit to your own husband in all things. The word submission does not make you a slave. It simply means adapt to your own husband. Every man, every woman has a own husband. Your own husband might be different from another person's husband you know your own husband better than another person's husband. Another person's husband may not like football. Your own husband may love football. You must create that environment to adapt to that lifestyle of that your husband. When you begin to adapt to him, you will be in a position to influence a man positively. Most of the time, women want to love their wife, children and correct their husband. God wants you to love your husband and correct your children. Learn to adapt to your husband. Learn to fit in into his lifestyle. Don't always throw tantrum. Don't always complain about the way he does things. If you have a man that throws his socks, shoes all around the house, 
instead of you agitating, instead of you nagging, all you need to do, pack those shoes, keep them nicely somewhere. You say, but pastor, I don't, I can't, I can't do that. Then you are not willing to marry. If you do that consistently without shouting, what you are doing is that you are correcting that man. Anytime you off your, uh, you put off your shoe, always put it here. What you are just doing without you voicing it to him is to correct him by adapting to him. Within a short time, that man will know that there is a need for him to change in this direction. You might not find this helpful, but try it and give me your testimony. I pray that the Lord will grant you wisdom to live with your partner. Every man listening to me today, God will help you to God will help you to make your house and your home heaven here on earth. Every woman listening to me today, I pray for you. God will grant you wisdom to be able to live with that man and with his shortcoming. I can see your marriage taking a new shape. God bless you. I want to see you in the next episode. Go to our YouTube channel. I want you to press subscribe button so that you can watch all our new episodes that will be coming. Till then, my name is Omoyele Yika. God bless you.